Yeah, so it's funny because I, I, I'm a competitor. Um, actually, when we were kind of building this team, um, you know, I was still new, trying to learn who students were, trying to figure out what their strengths are. Um, you know, two things that jumped out immediately um, from Jack and Mia were that they both looked at me and said, we're competitors. Uh, we don't like to lose. And for the research competition, um, it's kind of funny because, yeah, I was the first loser. Um, but I don't really, you know, I'm not much of a researcher. And so I am very much a teacher. That's why I came into academia. I love the teaching piece. And so to, to see something, um, especially within my lens of participatory sports, uh, to be able to have a research poster um, showcases kind of those uh, missed opportunities within the sponsorship scene in professional running um, was great. Um, I've presented um, on similar topics to broader research audiences before, um, but this was a much more niche audience that hadn't really gotten that opportunity to get to see um, what my research does. And so I felt uh, very proud of that. And it was great to be able to represent the University of Kansas, um, especially as a research one institution um, in that, in, on that kind of stage. So the research uh, study is uh, sponsorship perceptions of professional distance runners. Um, and so it has another colleague here at the University of Kansas, Dr. Brian Gordon. Um, believe it or not, my sister, uh, Kelly Bogina from Adam, who was at Adam State, and she kind of came on to help with it. Um, is also a, a researcher on it. And then uh, Tommy Eicher, who um, is at the University of Colorado, Colorado Springs, um, has been a new member um, and has really helped to kind of reshape the study. Um, so we're excited about the direction of the project. Um, but looking at the, really, truly, it's the missed opportunities. It's the lack of education, communication, um, really creating a mutually beneficial partnership between sponsors, um, teams, and these individual professional runners um, is what this study looks at. And we were able to find um, a number of different avenues that shows this willingness for these athletes to want more, to want to be more a part of this process, to understand that they have audiences with different needs outside of the sport. So looking at endemic and non-endemic sponsors. Um, so it was something that was very, uh, not quite exactly into your major sports, uh, major league baseball, sponsorship um, literature that we're excited that hopefully this study will be able to fill and bring some practitioners some more ideas.